top 10 songs to run to. Yeah, um, this was actually a pretty interesting video for me to do because this was one of the most memorable videos for me at least that Alex did. Uh, so there you go. So, uh, you know, well, you know, Joey Russ, I believe, requested videos to him or to Alex rather. And, um, you know, he did this one because number one was really cool, I believe. Yeah, I believe it was number one though, and it's fucking perfect, so you pretty much know already what it is, I'm pretty sure. If you don't, you know, um, get prepared for that, some fans will get really crazy for this number one pick. I, I'm pretty sure everyone will, so there you go. Uh, I will, because, uh, you know, it's it's that band, so of course it's great. Avicii is a thumbnail, can't really say I care for him though, um, you know, fucking levels I believe. I would not run to levels. Lose yourself as the slideshow. Um, would would I run to that? Maybe, but mm, I, I think there are better Eminem songs to pick from though. From a classic tree, at least I think. Is lose yourself the best running song from uh, by Eminem? <laughs> Maybe rap go if you want. If you want to like put your uh, you know blow your fucking brains out. As in, you know, it's exhausting, not as in it's a bad song. I do like rap goals, so there you go. Um, well, what would it be? I don't even know. Um, I, yeah, I, I have no idea what Eminem, Eminem song would be appropriate. Um, yeah, I guess Lose Yourself is the best one, I guess. Maybe Till I Collapse. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Run Till You Collapse, that's a good one, I guess. That's my pick, but it's Lose Yourself for this one because it's a little bit more popular, so there you go. Uh, can't really think of any other um, ones at the moment because I don't really think about stuff like this. It's kind of, you know, it's much mojo-ish, you know, it's you know very uh, milked out, so I don't really think about stuff like that. Of course the fans do, but I don't. The fuck is this clip though? Guy walking in the forest with the fucking Smells Like Teen Spirit song, what the fuck? Welcome to WarsMojo.com and today we're counting down our... The narrator was having a stroke. Eminem. Whoa. Oh, fucking Molly Crew, hell yeah. As in that one Molly Crew song, Kickstart My Heart. Hell yeah to that song. Hell no to this one. To MVG in general. Oh, run like hell. Run like hell. Pink floor. Yeah. Great song. A great opening pick for once. This song has a great narrative and group that just make you want to move your body. Uh. Featured on Pink Floyd's classic album The Wall. Run like they're hell. They're less classic ones, the very good. Of an angry rocker named Pink who imagines himself as a fascist dictator. As the run, run, run is repeated throughout the refrain, it motivates listeners to keep up the pace. Meanwhile, the prop rock number's futuristic qualities, matched with the primal screams of the mob, intersect to give the single a timeless quality. Oh, I do like that uh, sin there, or however you want to call it. Number nine. Number nine. No. Avicii. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that guy. I'm like. This song has such a good beat. It's not that bad, but I mean, after Pink Floyd, no. You know, personally, I was expecting this song to hit a bit higher because people love levels so much. Uh, although it's like a 60s uh, pop rock tune or whatever, soul tune. Makes levels sound like the high energy soundtrack for your life. Dun, 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 dun. High energy soundtrack on my life, sure, Art Mojo. Same synth beat over and over again. It's also pretty reminiscent of quirky music from an old video game. The two may build the fuck? The Etta James song. Something's got a hold on Yeah, it's it's an Etta James song. Fuck off. Each's progressive house version sounds worlds apart from the gospel influenced original. Okay, I guess, but no. Yeah. And helped him top the UK and US dance charts. The 
fuck is the music video? I mean, it's pretty much his best song, but it's not even on a fucking album. Whenever he made an album, it was fucking awful. You know, it is his best single, but his best single is still mediocre as well, so there you go. Uh, cake, I do like Cake better, but I mean, you have such a good opening pick, Pink Floyd, and then, you know, you got the fucking Avicii, and then it goes a little bit up again with Cake, but yeah, it's such a fucking strong star, man. What the fuck, man? Eight. Yeah, I would run the fuck out of the song, sure. It's, uh, it's a good list so far, I do like it. Cake does get boring after a while though. He's going for speed. I do like them, but if you've heard one song with them, you've heard them all already. It's funny though. It's pretty funny. The lyrics capture the spirit of competition and trying to win at all costs. Weren't they on an episode of Bull's Burgers where, where they go to a gay concert? What the fuck was that all all about? Maybe Kay did like a lawsuit or some shit, probably not. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, number six. Oh, smack my bitch up, hell yeah. Smack my bitch up, Prodigy. Fucking love this song, Prodigy. Like, you cannot find this music video anywhere, unfortunately. But I fucking love this song. It's like sex is a shit. But, um, well, well, yeah, I guess I can spoil it because you can't, uh, sh you know, watch the video anywhere. Um, you know, the person that you're looking at, you know, the point of view shot that you have, the POV shot, uh, dirty minds everywhere, you know, you know, what you know what I'm saying. Uh, but the POV shot, you know, of the person, you know, eating and shit like that and drinking and uh, punching bitches in the face and partying and trying to hit on them. And at the end of the day, or at the end of the clip, it's revealed that the person, you know, uh, that we had the point of view on was a girl as well and she was uh, about to engage in lesbian sex at the end of the at, at the end of the clip so you know why i fucking love this song because it's sex is a shit and it's a fucking woman doing it so uh all those sjw warriors fuck you the song isn't sexist because it's a woman <laughs> oh my god i mean it's so good for all the wrong reasons but i love it uh, Rip, um, Keith Flint? I believe that the boss, the guy from the Prodigy, Rip, rip that guy. Oh yeah, smashing his turntable. Oh, I'm gonna smash the shit out of you now. Touching a woman's ass on the staircase. This song has so much class. Going out of control with a wine drinking pen to leather bitch. And then he, uh, he, she is going to make out with it, with her rather. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't mention it was a girl at the ending. I'm pretty sure they didn't mention that. They're not gonna. You're not gonna re reveal that? No? Okay, sure. It's a, it's a great song though. Uh, Dancer in the Dark, Dancing in the Dark. I mean, I've reviewed... Uh, I was fucking called again. I'm born in the USA, fucking atrocity. Um, I hate that song. I do like this song though. I do like Dancer in the Dark quite a lot. That's my favorite, that's pretty much my favorite song of... Uh, fucking Born in the USA, fucking hate it all. Fucking hate that song, rather. Not a huge fan of the all meter. I gave it like a four. So there you go. 
It wants to, you know, it wants to... Fucking hell. It wants to make me press the mute button. That, that is what it wants... Fucking hell, can I speak? Um, it wants to make me to press the mute button because I can listen to this shit. Fuck no, man. Let alone run to it. Quality. I was like pausing and then he was like... He was like having a stroke with his fucking E Street band. Like, fucking hell, man. As soon as Bruce Coons that you can't start a fire without a spark. That is a good lyric, but he's saying it. Like, you know, he's doing it in such an overblown, over pretentious way that, that I'm just kind of like, no, fuck all Bruce Springsteen. It's a good lyric. Can you know? Can't start the fire without a spark. That's a good lyric, but just get the fuck out of here, man. Fucking fuck all vocal delivery. There was like one comment uh, once that was like. I cannot get into Bruce Springsteen. His vocals are just way too over the top for me. You know, my, co my comments, uh, my response, story of my fucking life. <laughs> so good. I'm so good. I mean, that bitch from fucking Friends is in there as well. Like, Black Queen loved it because the girl from Friends is in there. And of course, she loves Bruce Springsteen. Of course she does. Also stood the test of time. Just Get up on stage because I want to hit that. Sure, Bruce Springsteen. I mean, he is Springsteen. He can get the girl, but I don't get it why people go crazy over him. I just don't get it. But actually, choosing an Eminem show uh, song. Are they picking till I collapse? Because I did predict that. Hell yeah, till I collapse. Fuck yes. Number five. Yeah, I was like, this this is the song that you should run to, not uh, Lose Yourself. That, that is a good song, but Till I Collapse is like so, so fucking perfect for running, man. Like, don't like run to collapse. It just makes perfect sense. I fucking love the album cover of the Eminem show. The Red Squares and shit like that, and him thinking, oh. I'm gonna spit the hottest verse. I'm, I'm about to destroy this man's whole career. <laughs> That's fucking me. Yeah, yeah, it's an inspirational song. That's the right word. Until I collapse his perk for this uh, section. This earlier track is just as good when you're looking for motivation. I believe that I can't pause it too much because. I have 11 minutes left of recording time, there you go. Just great, man. Yeah. It's a Queen's a Queen sample, Dr. Dre production, Eminem lyrics, it's fucking perfect, man. And Nate Dogg is on the track, fucking cherry on top, man. Love it. Fucking love Nate Dog. Pretty much my, like my top tier favorite Eminem song right there. Mo I mean, I will say like my sister was getting into Molly Crew for some reason, and I was like, I not a, I'm not a fan of Molly Crew, but this is their only amazing song. That's what I said to her, and I mean it's so fucking right. The song kicks so much fucking ass, but the band itself is not. You know they're not that good, but this song is. Fucking awesome. Number four, kickstart my heart, Motley Crue. I just want to NASCAR drive listening to this song and I just want to this song has fucking wreck some shit whenever I hear this song. I mean the music video is also pretty perfect. Like cars crashing and shit, boats fucking flying everywhere, Michael Bay explosions. I'm running out of breath talking about this song. It's fucking amazing. Though the Dr. Feelgood single has dark roots, having been written by Nikki Six after he overdosed on drugs yeah. and was considered dead before he was resuscitated, the Grammy nominated track seems to be a celebration. I love that guitar lick too. Things done. Oh, the band being in flames and shit. And its memorable guitar riff will undoubtedly accelerate runners when they go over strenuous terrain. 
if only more songs were like this, but it's a one of a kind song. I mean, it's lyrically it's also the most interesting one because Nicky Six like overdosed on drugs and he fucking died, and then he came back to life because of a fucking heroin shot. I'm pretty sure. So that you know, it's pretty interesting lyrical content for Molly Crew matters. So there you go. Uh, fuck, how is this song called again? Fucking, um, I have a tiger. I have a tiger? Survivor. I don't want to run to the song, I want to fast walk to the song, because that's, that's, that's what the band is doing in this video. I want to fast walk whenever I hear the song, walk away from this fucking song. I don't hate it, but it's just overplayed. Like, whenever Rocky used it, it was good, because that was fresh, you know, it was right off the gate, but it's so fucking dated now. After Sylvester Stallone couldn't get the rights to another one bites the dust, this song was created as the theme for Rocky 3. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They couldn't get the rights to the Queen song, so they just made their own anthem. The world is forever grateful. And it's equally as fucking iconic, so there you go. Focusing in on a goal and going after what you want. I hate those like close shots of the lead singer. He just looks like a gay ass scorpion ripple. To marathoners to keep their eyes on the finish line and persevere. I was never a fan of uh, Survivor. The fuck is that that buffering shot? Like his eye, like having kind of an eye uh, tiger effect. I want to say eiger tiger effect, and then you know zooming out very quick. What the fuck is that effect? That's like the weirdest thing ever that they always leave in. Or they left that in, you know. Um, Foo Fighters, The Pretender. Number two, The Pretender, Foo Fighters. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's a good Foo Fighters song, but I wouldn't put it at number two though. It's, it's a good pick, but it's not so high. I'm pretty mixed on this list so far. We, we did have some Eminem, and well, what else was on this list? Can't even. Oh, fucking Pink Floyd, of course. Um, some shit early on that I really like. Cake, I like. I do like the Foo Fighters. Sure, go go on the good side, I guess. Uh, so I'm pretty mixed on this list so far. A fucking a VG, no, no. Um, there's some other shit I don't like, but I, you know, I don't even remember it. So there you go. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, how is he called? Roger Taylor? Roger Taylor, no, the screen, of course. But it's people calling him underrated. Doom, 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 doom. White, stripe, white stripes ass drumming, sure. The hard rocker is perfect for those moments when you're trapped inside your own head and don't think you'll make it past a certain point. A Taylor Hawkins, there you go. How the fuck do I remember the name so quick? What the fuck? Taylor Hawkins, that is a cool name though. But... The top 40 hit also I mean, he's good, but he's not uh, he's not Dave, Dave Grohl, obviously. As in drumming. You know, Dave Grohl should have just stayed the drummer and just, you know, hire another singer. He's a good singer, but. Or he should have been a fucking singing drummer, like like Phil Collins or something. That would have been fucking perfect. I'm gonna go Far Kid, uh, The Offspring. I don't like The Offspring. I gave them a chance, you know, I did the top 10 Offspring songs, but I just don't like their vocalist and, you know, this is not a very good band, I would say, but, you know, they are. Uh, if you can call them a pop punk band, they are pretty much the best pop punk band. But I mean, standing on a on on top of a pile of shit is still pretty smelly. So no thanks. Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz uh, featuring De La Soul. Um, yeah, I was kind of like, wait, what is this about again? Told the songs to run to. Feel Good Inc. No, not really. Um, if I think about the most like upbeat gorilla song, yeah, I guess Feel Good Inc. is appropriate because of the rap version and shit like that. But there are also some very like quiet and uh, melodic, very melancholic uh, version there. Whenever um, 2D and Noodle like uh, harmonize with each other, 
that's like some fucking great shit right there. But um, you know, that's not very run worthy, I would say. Um, you know what else? Uh, or what gorilla song is appropriate to run to though? Maybe Stylo. Stylo is a bit too mild, I think. It's it's fucking great, but. Uh, what else though? What else? May maybe Rock the House or something, but yeah, I guess Feel Good Inc. is the most to be, but I don't think that Gorillaz is really a appropriate run to band. Cannot pass anymore because I don't have any time, so let's get to number one. Stronger Kanye West. Uh, I prefer the original Death Punk tunes, there you go. I prefer Death Punk in general. I ran so far. But the offspring? No. What, what the fuck? This, this is New Order. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure this is New Order. The offspring. No. B.O.B. Outcast. Yeah. I would run the shit out of this song. Great Outcast song. Pretty much my favorite song by then. I believe in a thing called Love for the Darkness. Uh, yeah, great, of course. Grateful set of vocal. I mean, this number one is just perfect. Number one, Run to the Hills, Iron Maiden. I might, I might just put it at number one, you know, because who fucking That's one cares? Of the best heavy metal songs out there. It's no surprise that Run to the Hills made the top of our list. It's not one of the best, but it's the best of this list, fucking easily though. I'm gonna put on the volume a bit more. It's really low on this version though. We're gonna put it on one on I don't give a shit. As it tackles the colonization of America and the clash between Europeans and Native Americans. Yeah. We could have also picked um, the Power Slave song, um, Ace is High. That's also good. Uh, Meanwhile, or it's a, this is a war song. And increase of we could also run to it, I guess. Vocals gives it a raw edge that captures the feeling of what it's like to run and give it your all. Oh man, I haven't listened to this song in a while, but it's fucking great, man. If this song doesn't make you run to the hills, we don't know what will. Nope. Bruce in his prime is list. so good. Which song is your running? Don't out? fucking cut him off, man. He was about to fucking sing the greatest like vocal ever of his career, and then he cut him off. More motivating top Fuck tens off, published man. every day. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Maybe Eminem, but probably this is gonna be until the. I don't give a shit, you know. Number one, all spoiler. Don't cut him off right there. The camera's gonna cut me off. Yeah, this semi could it all, but I don't have time anymore. Uh, like on subscribe to the channel for Feeders Like the One. Our was number one. They're up here somewhere, I'm gonna put them below here, but you know, next week probably. Thank you for watching this video, the other things are just like, set like on subscribe channel for Feeders Like the One. I'm pretty sure it already cut me.